when we want to solve problems or build something, we need to start with the project requirements. These define whatever we're trying to make or do. In this case, I want to build a reasonably priced, durable bean bag toss. Once you know your project requirements, then you need to do the research to see how you can make that product. But we don't want to just copy, we want to also see if we can innovate and make something better. Or maybe we can come up with an easier, faster, cheaper way to build the product. So I started my beanbag board toss game uh, research by looking at my brother's uh, boards and then also going on the internet and getting ideas. I found a couple really good websites. The first one was thisoldhouse.com. They even had some steps on how to build one. A second website at cornholegameplayers.com had their own way of building a board. Once I had some good ideas and building upon some of the designs that I saw, trying to make them better, I sketched out some ideas and then ran them by other people to see if they were good ideas. Next, sketches are fine, but having detailed, scaled drawings will make the building much, much easier. I decided to do it in three dimensions using SketchUp. Now that we have a drawing, an accurate drawing, we can make a budget and then set up a plan for our build steps. Then we are ready to build. When I build stuff, I always try to get all the materials out and available. And then when I'm measuring, I always measure twice so I don't have mistakes. If there's mistakes, we waste material and we waste time. When it's built, you need to test it out. 
see if it really does what we wanted it to do, and if it does it well enough. If it doesn't, we may need to do it again. Finally, when we're done, we need to communicate with our client about our product and what it does.